I think really the first thing that you need to ask yourself prior to getting in, into these kinds of roles, uh, depending if you're a junior, if you've been doing this a while, then, you know, awesome. That's an amazing thing. Really, it is. Uh, you know, is the size of the companies I mentioned, small to medium sized companies, a lot of these companies are trying to get into an SRE process. Uh, a lot of them, you know, maybe they've patched some DevOps -y things together, they've automated some things. Maybe a little prior to that, you know, they adopted some agile practices, maybe some Scrum, sprinkling it on with some Kanban, you know, something like that. Uh, and what you have to ask the company is what is SRE in their context? What do they define it as? What are, what are they expecting? Are they expecting, you know, everything from the SRE book or the SRE handbook? Uh, you know, are they trying to adopt a Google-like process uh, as a small organization, as a small company? Um, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. Uh, another thing you want to ask is, uh, I think just right off the bat, is just how large is the team? You know, what are you, what are you getting yourself into uh, as far as like an on-call rotation process is? Do they have an on-call rotation process? Uh, you know, that's something <laughs> something that could potentially save you a lot of headaches down the, down the road. Um, and if they don't, are they expecting you to create one? Uh, you know, what type of title are you expecting? If you're responsible for creating one, are you a lead? Are you a senior? Uh, so, you know, these are a lot of the small things, well, uh, large things, blockers, as they say, <laughs> that you'd want to uh, ask uh, prior to, you know, getting yourself into a, into a, a, a real difficult situation.